The first day of training for the class of 2015 started with a bang. Wake up! Basic cadets were treated to an abrupt end to their slumber at 0430, a part of the morning most of these new cadets never even knew existed. Yes, sir! Is that clear? Yes, sir! Go! Basic cadets were led to the academy's terrazzo to begin their first lesson of the day, marching. A quick but nourishing breakfast was punctuated by instruction on how a basic cadet is expected to eat. You're going to always ask the table commandant what they want first, okay? You are going to say, sure, all cadets and basic cadets at the table have been served at this time. It's all depending on you and everyone can eat. All cadets and basic cadets have been served at this time. Try it again. Sir, basic cadet Jones reporting as ordered. The class of 2015 then formed up to take the oath of allegiance. And this oath isn't to any person. It's not to the president. It's not to any organization, it's not to the Air Force, it's not to the flag. It's an oath in support of the principles, the ideals of liberty, justice, equality for all men and women, as outlined by our founding fathers. For parents, gathered beneath the iconic spires of the Academy Chapel, seeing their children become a cadet was an emotional experience. I'm just so incredibly proud of her for making this choice. I think it's a fantastic choice. Very proud. Uh, it's a culmination of a lot of work that Henry went through to get to the Academy. As parents and well-wishers lingered, trying to get a glimpse of their child, the class of 2015 continued a four-year journey a journey that will turn them into leaders for the Air Force and the nation one day at a time. John Zanone, the United States Air Force Academy.